Hello, good evening. Hey y'all, this is Whitney Nicely, and I had a very funny encounter today with a regular real estate agent. And let me just tell you real quick that I am a real estate agent. In fact, I'm a broker. I have my own firm, Whitney Buys Houses. We're in Tennessee, we're in Georgia. I got it, all right? The thing is, I'm not a regular realtor. I'm not a regular real estate agent. I don't list houses. I don't take buyers out on Sundays and show them kitchens. I just don't do that. I'm an investor realtor. And honestly, here's a free tip of advice. If you're going to list your house, list it with somebody that has experience. And I know you can't get experience until somebody gives you experience, but go with somebody who really gets the job done. And I take it a step further than that. I don't recommend working with an agent unless they're also an investor. There are agents out there who are investors. They usually, because they actually own property around here, or they're an investor around here, they have a better take on the market around here. And even if they're busier than a new agent, I'd rather use an investor-friendly realtor than somebody else, okay? Keep in mind that realtors are not one size fits all. If you say you go to the doctor, somebody is gonna say, what kind of doctor did you go to? Did you go to a foot doctor? Did you go to a heart doctor? Did you go to a brain doctor? Did you go to a regular, um, what's the regular doctor called? Not a general practitioner, or maybe it is. But anyway, a regular family doctor? It should be the same way with a realtor. If you say, I spoke to a realtor today, they should say, oh, was it a listing agent or did you work with a buyer's agent? Did you work on a primary care physician? That's what it is. Did you talk to an investor realtor or did you talk to a realtor that specializes in VA loans? Because realtors have niches, niche. They have a specialty. And if you want to list your house and get top market price, you need to find the best realtor in your zip code and hire them. Not just somebody because you saw a pretty picture on Zillow. Do your homework. But anyway, okay. So the point of this rant is because I'm not normal. <laughs> there is an understatement there. I'm kind of a weirdo. Also an understatement. But... I am not a normal real estate agent. I'm not a normal broker, and I get that. Here's what happened today. I called, and I do the regular realtor thing where I call and speak to the secretary or the uh, appointment booking person, whoever they have, and I say, hey, you know, my name is Whitney Nicely. I'm with Whitney Buys Houses, and I want to look at this house, or I want to show this house at 123 Main Street uh, tomorrow night at 6. And I don't know if I went through that spiel too fast or what I did, but they said, I'm sorry, what's your name? And I said, Whitney Nicely. And they said, and which company are you with? And I said, Whitney Buys Houses. And they said, yeah, I heard that, but what firm are you with? And I said, Whitney Buys Houses. And they was like, no, 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 no. Like, are you with Keller Williams or Coal Banker or, you know, because I've just never heard of Whitney Buys Houses. Is that a real firm? <laughs> I said, yes. And it does not surprise me. It also does not hurt my feelings that you've never heard of Whitney Buys Houses. I don't do regular real estate stuff. So how and why would you have heard of me? It doesn't bother me that you've never heard of my little firm because really, there's only one person in my firm, and that's me. <laughs> I am the broker. I am the realtor. I am Whitney Buys Houses. This is all you get. <laughs> so, going through that whole little spiel, I finally said, I want to show this house. The name of my firm is Whitney Buys Houses. And it got to the point where I said... Do you want me to send you a copy of my license? And the lady said, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Here it is. I sent it. Um, 
it, it does not bother me. It's totally fine. But what I want you to know is that every agent has a specialty. And every agent does not work for a big nationwide company. And I am very unique in that I am a realtor, I am a broker, and I buy houses. My firm is set up for me to buy houses, not to be a listing agent or a buyer's agent or anything like that. It's set up that I can work both sides. I can work as an investor. I can work as an agent. It just never really pays me to work as an agent. <laughs> I just keep the license because I like having a license. But anyway, if you know somebody, they don't have to be as weird as I am because let's face it, God broke the mold. But maybe you know somebody who, like me, is an investor, has a license because there's lots of investor agents out there. Um, Victor Jernigan has his own firm. He's an investor. Tyler Sheff is an investor agent. There's lots of people out there in the world that don't work for a big conglomerate because they like the flexibility of saying, I'm not normal. <laughs> okay? And that's a wonderful position to be in. Um, you do not need a real estate license to be an investor, and sometimes it's a big kind of pain in the neck to have a license and to have to say, warning, I have a license, I'm going to buy your house, and I'm going to make money, <laughs> okay? Sometimes that's kind of a pain, but other times, it's fine. People don't care. If you come in and you say, I'm going to buy your house, oh, by the way, I have a license, they really don't care. I don't know of any situation that I've ever been in that they sold to me because I had a license. And I also don't know any situation where they would not sell to me because I had a license. Like, it just does not matter. License or no license, when you want to buy houses, go buy houses. In America, all you have to do is be 18 and of sound mind and sound mind, really, <laughs> to buy houses. You don't need money, credit, banks, or a real estate license to go buy houses. So, next time you talk to a weirdo like me, <laughs> find out if they have a license. Maybe they work at a big company, maybe they don't. But if I call you, I call your fancy firm, and I say, I want to show this house tomorrow at 123, or I want to go look at this house tomorrow at three o'clock and I'm doing the regular real estate thing, know that it's totally okay that I named my firm Whitney Buys Houses instead of a proper grown-up <laughs> Whitney and Whitney company or whatever. <laughs> okay? So, if y'all have any questions, I would love to talk to you. I have another one of my VIP calls coming up here in a minute, and I am making a new webinar for you. I love Mondays. I get so much done on Mondays, and I love it. So if y'all want to talk about real estate, if you got any questions, send me a message, send me a PM. If you want to book a time, if you want to book a call with me, go to start.whitneynicely.com. Oh, and um, this weekend, I changed the videos there. So I've got like professional videos on start.whitneynicely.com. And I took my hour and 45 minute webinar down to 15 minutes. So if you want to know about lease options, I got it down to 15 minutes. I don't know if I can do it any shorter than 15 minutes. <laughs> so go to start.whitneynicely.com. Watch that. Let me know if you have any questions and book a call. Book a call. Let's talk about real estate. Bye, y'all.